Hi friends, when working with power sources, very often there is a need to measure the resistance of current shunts, both homemade and industrial. As you know, most of multimeters, even expensive, don't measure resistance less than 0.1 ohm. Of course, we can measure the resistance of any resistor by using a laboratory power supply with a function of current limiting multimeter and ohms low. But we prefer to have a specialized device that can immediately measure the resistance of low resistance resistors and current shunts. Therefore, it was decided to make such a device. The device has a fairly high accuracy, a compact size and most importantly, doesn't depend on AC mains because powered by 9 volts battery 6F22, which is enough for a long time. The device is based on Ohm's law. Here is experimental resistor RX, which needs to be measured. The device has a current stabilization system at 100 mA and a voltmeter that measures the voltage drop across the test resistor. Knowing the voltage drop and the current flowing in the circuit, it's easy to understand what resistance the test resistor has. In our case, no calculations are needed because a current of 100 mA or 0.1 A is selected. Therefore, 100 mV or 0.1 V on the voltmeter will mean that the resistance of the experimental resistor is 1 ohm. Respectively, 10 mV is 0 0.1 ohm, 1 mV is 0 0.01 ohm. It's simple, you can get used very quickly, but in order for our device to work accurately, a voltmeter is needed that can correctly display such low voltages. At first I wanted to make an analog device, alas, analog indicators which were tested couldn't display such low voltages. It was necessary to put an additional amplifier, but I had a precision digital voltmeter which was bought at AliExpress. This voltmeter has an error of only 0.3%, but I didn't trust the seller's data and calibrated it additionally in the range of up to 100 mV. The error of the resistance multimeter is 1%. For calibration, there is a small trimming resistor on the voltmeter board. The voltmeter is connected with three wires, black is minus or ground, yellow measuring plus and red plus which fed the voltmeter. Such a voltmeter can be powered from any constant source with a voltage from 3.5 to 28 volts. In my sample, the native stabilizer burned down and I was forced to supply another one. Looking ugly, but this doesn't affect the work. Voltmeter is 5 bit and in theory can measure the voltage from 100 microvolts, but the readings of the last digits shouldn't be taken seriously, except for rounding values. The minimum voltage that a voltmeter can display correctly starts from 1 mV. Therefore, the minimum resistance that our device can measure is 0 0.01 ohm or 10 milliohm. The current stabilizer consists only of two components, a current setting resistor and an LM317 chip, which is connected as the current stabilizer. If you're fond of electronics, then most likely you're interested in the search for original radio components. I can recommend the service LCSC. It's a major supplier of electronics and electronic components directly from global manufacturers. The company works with hundreds of brands and offers only original products. At affordable prices, you will get hundreds of thousands of components. Numerous delivery methods and convenient payment systems are available. The link is in the description. For a current of 100 mA, the resistor should have a resistance of 13 ohm. I used old multi-turn resistor SP51. It is for 60 turnovers and I can fairly accurately set the desired resistance. The circuit is assembled on a small printed circuit board, although you can do without the board due to the minimum number of components. After assembly, you need to calibrate the circuit. This requires a reference current meter. In my case again, a multimeter will be used in ammeter mode. The accuracy of the device in this mode is about 1%. We assemble everything according to the circuit and supply by a 6F22 battery. Now I rotate the trimmer screw until the current value of 100 mA on the screen of the device. This completes the setup. It only remains to fix the trimmer screw and everything can be installed in the case. 
The case itself was printed on a 3D printer. It turned out ugly and not neat, but I don't care much. Well, now let's try it in operation. Not bad, isn't it? As a result, we have a compact portable milliometer. What is the accuracy of the device? The error of the readings of the voltmeter is 1%. We add to this another 1% of the error of the current limiting system. Well, let's add another 1% for any losses in wires and connections, and ideally we get about 3%. When measuring resistances of less than 0 0.01 ohm and above 0 0.5 ohms, the error will increase since the instrument is calibrated precisely for this range. But these aren't bad given that no more than 5 to 6 dollars were spent on the assembly. This video has come to an end. You will find additional useful information in the description below the video. If you have any questions related to electronics, welcome to our group. The link is also in the description. I have to say goodbye until we meet again. With you was Kaisyan TV.